Avengers! Assemble. Ash Blossom is too powerful. How do we stop her? Stand down, Cap. Final warning. What kind of Triff character are you? You let a hand trap defeat you? We are the mighty Triffengers. Nothing will stop us. No Ash Blossom, no Draw Lockbird, nothing. How do we defeat Ash Blossom? Smash. That's disgusting, Hulk. She's like 12 years old, man. Brothers, we can always consult the master of hand traps, Triff himself. Hey, you guys are right. Go Justice. I hate Ash Blossom 3000, but let's call Triff and Triff will deal with Ash Blossom no problem. Avengers, dissemble. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I live with the Avengers and Thanos in the same house. Ash Blossom sucks. And the only thing bigger than the shit that Ash Blossom is, is its forehead. Ash Blossom doesn't do shit. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And without further ado, enjoy the video. Ash Blossom is the most overrated hand trap in the game. In fact, every hand trap is the most overrated hand trap in the game. Because they're all shit. They all suck. Anyways, this video is brought to you by my new mats. Okay, we got some new mats. They're the same style as the last one, but this time, much more affordable with zones, baby. We got one player, Electrum, Trip Gaming, appearing to those mats over here with zones. With zones? So you want to help support your boy, go check them out in the description below in the merch box. We also got two player ones as well for the ones with two player. Both cheaper now, much more affordable, and with zones. And they got zones now, which is awesome. I love having zones there. Amazing quality. Go check out if you want to support your boy. And without further ado, enjoy this video of me crushing everyone with Ash Blossom. Now, one thing to know is it's not random duel. I'm not just dueling myself randomly. Right? I did hop on Dueling Bug Raided. I hopped on Dueling Bug Raided. I'm like, yo, whoever I play, I'll play. And I test a lot now, right? The uh, past few days. And I continue to do so every single day until I'm unbanned. And for those who are new to the channel, I'm unbanned in 84 days, something like that. And every single day until then, expect a bunch of training for when I conquer the world with uh, pendulums. Or more so, just winning events. That's my main concern. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh god, not a pendulum god. And in the future, I might talk about other decks as well. In my 84 day training. Anyways, so he Ash Blossom my mastery. He could have saved the Ash for Servant. And one thing to note now that Ash Blossom, the reason why I want to talk about Ash Blossom taste of another hand trap is now you could Ash Servant and you could still use Servant's effect. So because of that, I want to show you guys now some cool little situations. Uh, this I wouldn't be one of them. I didn't have it, but because he Ash the mastery. But now Ashing the mastery might be more correct than Ashing the Servant just because you could use Servant again with the new ruling. Now, I'll show you what Ash Blossom is garbage. You got rid of one card in my hand, thank you. But hey, look at my hand. Look, at, Remember I told you guys in the last video, guys, keep up with my channel. I told you guys in the last video, play Curtain Razor, right? Why? Why play Curtain Razor? Because it gives you a free turbo card. My one, I don't know if I showed this one yesterday or today yet. I don't know if I, but look, this guy Ash Blossom. Yeah, got Curtain Razor, save the day. I don't even know if I showed this video or not. I think I did it today, who knows. I think I did it this one today, but... Like, you need Curtain Razor, man. But again, Ash Blossom, you just go through the motions. Ash Blossom is the most, Ash Blossom's the most used hand trap. Every deck that plays hand traps plays three Ash Blossom, no doubt about it. But look at this, bro. And he had a Phantasmate. And he scooped, I had five negates and he had two hand traps. Phantasmate and Ash Blossom, the two most overrated hand traps in the game. He Ash Blossom, I was left with, uh, I can still put my normal seven negates up. He Phantasmate and negate, uh, good game, buddy. That was six negates easy. Through two hand traps. He has four cards, I have six negates. Good luck, half point. Now, it is a whole duel. I want to show you the whole match, sorry. So, matches aren't just matches aren't just one game, obviously. They're two games. So, we had Ash Blossom in that game. This game, uh, spoiler alert, we're not going to have an Ash Blossom. But I want to show you guys the whole match. But we're going to do this fast. I don't want 20 minute videos all the time. I want 10 minute videos for you guys. So, it's not that long for you guys. You guys always watch it. But I didn't go see. I'm going second for Salaman Greats. And I just destroy him. Like, he can't do anything. Like, what's he going to pop? He can't pop anything. I use Garuda to pop Trap Trick. Yeah, he seems like a newbie. He gets Sanctum. He attempts to activate Sanctum. I got Endymion. Like, if you're four back, what's he gonna do? Rage something? I don't give a shit. Let him rage something. I don't care. He only activate one trap anyways. If you let Trap Trick go, there's only three traps left and no Sanctum. It's like, he was left with nothing. And regardless of how he played that, even though he does kind of suck, because I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say he sucked. He didn't do anything to show he sucked, but just the way he played it, I negate that shit. He got to get one more, I believe, but 
he couldn't do anything. I didn't pencil him, and yeah, pop one more Dragon Pit. Like, they're, the deck's just too damn good. So, that's a 2 0 against sal Salads. Obviously, Salamanga 2 0, too easy. Now, this one, uh, I don't want to show you guys Ash Blossom Theory. So, I could have easily just showed you guys Duel, like, solo on Dueling Book. You know, I can go on Dueling Book right now. I'll show you guys this deck later. But I can go on Dueling Book right now, click solo, and show you guys how I could play through hand traps, right? I could easily do, or play through an Ash Blossom. I can easily do that. Now, this situation will be a little more... I'll play this one maybe if we have time at the end. But uh, Foolish is never going to get Ash anymore. Not anymore. They say that after something else. So then just like that, after Foolish, they can't Ash anything. Even if they did happen to Ash the Foolish, which no one does. Especially since, you know, you play nine Dragon uh, Ravines, Foolish, all that. You know, they're waiting for the Endymion, the Pen Calls. They'll never Ash Foolish anymore, unfortunately. But even if they did Ash, you have Dark Worm, you get S Scales. And you end up Pen something four or five. And then they go Electrum after, still do the combo. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a, a situation where you don't have turbo cards or the Ash your turbo cards and how to play through that. I'll happily do that, but this video is for Ash, so we're going to continue on to the matches. This is the next match I have saved for you guys. Uh, I want to show you guys the whole match instead of just the solos. I just to show you guys, like, uh, what happens after you Ash. So, after what happens next game? Like, like you know, there's more to a match than just that. Hey, you that dude that got banned? Question mark? LOL. Uh, well, one funny thing to note, too, is I play a few new, uh, scrubs. I find the... Uh, my rate, my rating match still lower shits 556. It's gonna take a while to get up, uh, in the rating ladder. But uh, yeah, look, like doesn't matter who you face, you're gonna win, right? He's Ash Blossom. What the hell is Ash Blossom gonna do to this hand? You're gonna Ash my pen call. I don't give a shit. What the hell? Like, I could have done this hand way better. I should have ravined first. I don't even think I did that. Like I shouldn't have dual alliance there. I should have ravined first. Uh, and I uh, hope you Ash ravine. That's what I should have done, but. I didn't because I didn't care. He, he ashed my pen call. Like, my pen call gets ash, and my, my ravine and pen call is going to be useless. Like, this is a horrible play how I did it. I should have ravine first, obviously. But I'm like, you know what? I don't really care. Uh, even through a misplay like that, uh, where I, I didn't bait the ash properly, I still end up with a shit ton. Like, I'm still going to have a shit ton of negates. Like, eh, the deck's honestly amazing, man. Like, the deck's just too good. Abductor's going to get counters from the Jackal. Uh, so Jack, sorry, Jack doesn't get counters from the Doctor. Now we have four negates because it's going to bring a Persona Dragon. I negate the Salt Frog. He's playing Tolge or something. Uh, Paleo sets four. I draw a card. I'm like, he knows he's about to lose. I'm about to ravine into the Strudo as well. I got, then I get the Strudo in there. And like, boom, that's done. Another match is two two O's. Now this one's hilarious because this guy sucked so badly. So I thought it would be jokes to show this one. But <laughs> I'm going to keep going here. Like, it's great, man. Like, Ash doesn't do anything. So this guy sucked. Okay, well, I would... Okay. See, Ash Blossom. I love showing noobs as well. Because uh, my rating, low, my, I might do a whole video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see this one. It's going to be hilarious. Me just roasting noobs. I face so many noobs on here because I'm up, I'm dueling up on the rating ladder, right? So my, I have like every, let's say four duels I show you guys. There's uh, four good duels or four videos I show you guys about of the duels. There's like four fucking other noobs like this guy. Like he's going to, look, look, he's going to uh, use, look, look, I'm going to Foolish Burial. He doesn't Ash Blossom the Foolish, okay? I foolish put Dark Worm in. I show Cerberus as well. He's a little slow on it. And he says, wait, wait. I Ash Blossom the Dark Room effect to add gate zero. I don't Ash the Foolish. I don't Ash the Cerberus. I Ash the Dark Room effect to add gate zero. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this guy doing? But anyways, obviously it ends up six negates. This guy playing Cosmos. So clearly he's a fucking scrub. But it just goes to show that even if he did happen to Ash Blossom the Cerberus or the Foolish, I still have five negates. I just normal summon the curtain razor. Or sorry, I use curtain razor effect, bring on surface. Like it doesn't matter which one you ash blossom. I still end up with five negates. That's why you gotta play curtain razor and stuff as well. Infinite turbo cards. The reason why you play all these 30 turbo cards is for when they ash blossom one, you don't give a shit. You just end up summoning everything else anyways, right? That's a that's the beauty of it. Like, that's amazing. And you're gonna keep going off. Like it doesn't matter what happens, right? So that's another one. And now this one, well, I just did a random one for you guys. This one plays through ash blossom. Now I'm gonna show you guys another. I'm gonna keep resetting the deck to show you guys how every hand will play through it. Like you, if you don't, ask, if you ash, whether you ask the pen call, the shrine, or the Cerberus, you still lose. You still lose. Like that's why. Even if this was Dragon Ravine, you still lose. Like this is five in a row. I show you guys everything plays through Ash Blossom. Five hands in a row that puts up five in the gates to Ash Blossom. Let's see which one will lose to it. This one, Mastery is getting Ash. Even if pen call gets. You got pen call Dark Worm. Let pen call get Ash. You got Dark Worm, Hyrus, Mastery. Like you win again. Like, like, this is like with the six hand in a row now. The inner, like, he's all in, like, every single hand you'll ever draw with this deck, even with the ravine. Like, if you don't have dark room, you just ravine some useless shit away, and you got your dark room, and you're good. Like, it, Ash Blossom doesn't do shit. Like, doesn't matter. They could have two hand traps, uh, they still won't do anything. I'll reset the deck again. Let's try and hit 10 in a row. Ash Blossom will do nothing. Look at this one. 
Since we have Curtain Razor, our boy Curtain Razor, we could play through it. So let's say they Ash the Cerberus, for example. All we need is to see just a normal, a normal summonable monster. Okay, no problem. We just need a normal summonable monster, and we win. Okay, then we win. <laughs> like we just need a normal summonable monster. And the reason why I play is draw cards, is so, so you basically play 50 and you need more counters, right? So even with a garbage ass hand, with Mare Mare and a double Cerberus, when a Cerberus got ashed, when you open double Cerberus and a Mare Mare, okay? Like when you open these three, you got two cards left, right? You got uh, two cards left. So this guy's Ash, most of the time you lose, right? This is, I'm going to show you guys all the shit hands. But not in this one, bro. You just Shrine. Shrine, get the Darker from your deck. Add gate zero. Normal summon curtain razor. Electrum pop. Get high scale. Uh, guard dragon combo. You win. Like every single hand. This is like what? Nine in a row now? Let's see if we get 10 in a row. Nine in a row played through Ash Blossom. Let's see if 10 in a row. 10 in a row, this one easily. Well, I don't even need to explain this one. Like, this is again, hey, why, why do you play curtain rays? You don't open one of your nine uh, foolish burials or a dragon or dark room for the pen call. You got curtain rays right now. This is 10 hands in a row that plays through Ash Blossom with five negates. Like, 10 hands in a row. 10 fucking hands in a row that play through an Ash Blossom at, with five negates through an Ash Blossom, 10 hands in a row. I keep going here, but. I, I didn't, I didn't look at that. I'm going to show one more. Le I'm not going to count the 11. I already knew this one's going to be. I didn't even look at it. I already knew it. Like, every hand does it. Like, I'm unbelievably confident with it. Like, what are they going to... Like, they have to... If they don't ask the Ravine effect, then Abductor is going to end up getting the counters, and you're going to end up getting your, your card you need. One thing to note, by the way, you get into the Void as your third card, but... Yeah, for those idiots that don't think so, just keep the Ravine hand, but... It's, if it's your third card, you get into the Void. So, look at that. You got two already. You can do anything you want at this point. You can allure darkness, uh, get rid of harmony if you need. And uh, this is gonna have three counters for sure. You're gonna fake activate abductor's effect. They're gonna ash it, or if they ash ravine, it doesn't matter. He's gonna counter grab, and you keep going. Like every hand, there's eleven in a row. I'm actually curious now. I wonder which ha how many hands it'll take to for Ash Blossom not to do anything, or to Ash Blossom to do it to do something. Again, another hand, Ash Blossom won't do shit. Like uh, for the okay, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, this is unbelievably good. Uh, okay, look so. You're going to activate set rotation as the dra another Dragon Ravine. So one counter, Dragon Ravine. Oh, you get Dragon Ravine from deck. Just too lazy to get it. Whatever. Look, look at it. I have a Sky Iris on the deck as well. So you give them Sky Iris. You don't need it in this situation. Uh, speaking of Sky Iris, by the way. Uh, right here, Sky Iris. Oh, shit. I sent the others. Oh, fuck. I sent the other side by accident. Okay, well, I got Dragon Ravine here. So flip Dragon Ravine. This gets two counters. So now this gets two counters. Activate Ravine effect to uh, get rid of the other Ravine. Whatever it may be. It doesn't matter. Ash Blossom, if they don't Ash Blossom, you win. Then you pen call Curtain Razor, get your scales, and then this has three, and then you win. Then you bring up your stuff. Oh my god, the normal stuff, pop the Servant, put in the scale. You're gonna have Servant, you're gonna have a high scale, and you're gonna send Dark Room and Pen. Like, this is uh, 12 in a row now. Like, you can just keep going forever. I can literally keep going forever. Like, okay, beauty. This is all I wanna show you guys this one. Some won't Ash the Foolish. If they don't Ash the Foolish, no problem. This is why you play the Ravine. Now you got your Dark Room and you win. Now you go Dark Room, zero, pen call, get rid of zero, get a normal summon monster, Electrum, Electrum, Pop Persona, get high scales, guard your combo, win. Like, that's why you play Ravine. Again, like, everyone plays Ash Blossom, you gotta be wary of the Ash Blossom. It's 11 in a row. Okay, this one oh, could be iffy if we play through it or not. Depends on the Lord, depends if they sh uh, Ash the Shrine. A lot of people, like I said, don't Ash the Shrine and Foolish anymore. But let's say they Ash it for the sake. If they don't Ash it, you win. Allure Darkness. Boom, Ravine, you win. You win. You win. Like, like, Ravine, well, you'll enter the void first because you don't want to, like, lose the card. Okay, like, you, you, <laughs> you win. Like, what the hell? Like, Ravine, Worm, zero. Like, that's 13 in a row. Like, I can keep going here. I can actually keep going here. I'm just going to reset deck and look ahead. Okay, so this one, it depends if... Okay, let's see what will happen here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Ravine, it's a pen call... Or Iris, whatever maybe you have here. The, I, I think Iris here because it'll chrono, special, something else. What are they ashing? Uh, doesn't matter. Like, you don't need scales for this, any of this. Like, it's 15 in a row. Like, that's 15 in a row. I don't need to show the rest. That's 15 in a row. Uh, I can keep going for That's 15 hands in a row. I can literally go forever. It's like infinite hands in a row. So, the this is a deck uh, list if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, in the future, I will be doing a pure, not pure art, odd eyes because there's only, like, what? You're not going to play, like, every odd eyes card in the game, but... Max out on the Sky Iris engine. I think the Sky Iris engine is incredibly underrated with guard dragons. And the fact that you get a negate, a low scale, a high scale, I think it's incredibly good. And it allows you to play set rotation. So and you need the uh, dark worm anyways always. So I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna try a new list out 
where I take out the Magicians for a full Odd Eyes engine and see how that goes. And it allows way more uh, abductors. Uh, having Iris to pop a scale lets abductor and a uh, servant run rampant. So, like, they always resolve, always, no matter what. So, I'm not going to explain anything. I explained this multiple times in different videos. Check out one of my last few videos. It'll be in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to check out the video where I describe this in theory uh, and every single thing in depth. Uh, I changed the side deck. It's the only thing I changed. I realized that Dino Wrestler sucked, uh, even if I, if I blind second. I'd rather blind second, blind side, I mean, I'd rather blind side triple eccentric and purple poison and a Garuda. I said don't play poison, which is correct, don't play it, but it's just good to have as another random card to side in going second. I'd rather a uh, purple poison in the deck than a Dino Wrestler. Dino Wrestler is trash in Pendulums. It literally doesn't resolve any, doesn't do anything. If it doesn't win you, win you the game in Pendulum, don't fucking side it. Uh, you'd rather literally just draw any pen. You'd rather draw a metal pole with, uh, without a spell or trap in your deck than draw a fucking Dino Wrestler. But Eccentric, this just ensures that you're not playing Mystic Mind. So play triple... Because uh, they, they're going to auto-scoop all the time when they see your board. So you're going to be blind blindsiding a lot. And Eccentric and Poison and Garuda are the best cards of the blind side. This is extra deck. Go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Don't change anything. This is the video, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you like it. L hit the like button if you like the Trefenders. Maybe we'll show more. And don't forget to show your boys some support by checking out my new playmats in the description below. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.